Hello everybody, Chris Gethin here and today I'm going to give you four tips on how to look at least 10 years younger. And this is a Now this is all comes down to skin care and how you take care of your skin on a daily basis. Now this will come from internal and external application, but to begin with, I'm gonna go through the external. So I'm gonna start off with number one, exfoliate. Now a lot of people exfoliate like once a week. I personally exfoliate more like once a day. I personally do that. Now, I'm not saying that everybody should do that, but I like to get rid of a lot, a lot of the dead skin cells that gather because I'm always sweating, I'm working out, I'm doing cardio out, outdoors, indoors, I'm in air conditioning. You know, there's a lot of pollutants around. The environment that we live in is very different to what we did uh, live in like only just 30 years ago. So I find personally by exfoliating every single day that has really helped get rid of the uh, dead skin cells. And then when I'm applying my creams after, it doesn't sit on the top and block up my pores. I used to get a lot of blackheads. Now I don't have the blackheads because I do the exfoliation every single day. Now it removes dead skin cells and there's no microplastics in these products. These products are phthalate free, gluten free, cruelty free, you name it free and it has sodium bicarbonate instead of what a lot of products have is castor oil, vitamin B and uh, jojoba. So, and then we go on to the moisturizing. Now again, this is something that I do every single day. I do it in the morning and I do it in the evening. So, let's back up a little bit here. This is the face scrub that I'll put on every day. I'll scrub it very lightly in circular motions probably for about two minutes, I'd say, two minutes. I don't go around the eyes because eyes are very sensitive, got very thin skin there. That can wrinkle before anywhere else, so I don't generally go underneath the eyes. You don't really get blocked pores or blackheads there anyway. It's mostly around the nose section, about an inch or two under the eyes, forehead especially, template, uh, temple, template, temple, etc. Okay, and then when it comes to this, the day cream, I put this on in the morning, uh, I'll wash in the morning, put this on, usually after I've done my cardio, something like that, um, you know, I'll exfoliate and I'll put the day cream on. So I'll put the day cream on my neck, around my ears, um, all over my face, and I just avoid the eye area. The reason why I avoid the eye area is because that is when I put the eye cream on. So if you look at a couple of things here <clears throat> with the day and night cream, so the day cream renews tired skin, improves the elasticity. So we have collagen and elastin in our skin that help dictate how our skin looks, the tone of it, the tightness of it. It also has vitamin B and aloe vera in there as well. Now when it comes to the eye cream, this decreases the appearance of eye fatigue. Sometimes you see the dark circles, the puffiness when people wake up in the morning. Um, especially if they have fluid retention. It also has, uh, it has cucumber, shea, coffee, botanical extracts. You can see a lot of botanical extracts there to help liven up the eyes and increase the tightness underneath the eyes there as well. Now, when it comes to the night cream, as it suggests, I put this on before bed. Again, I wash, I don't exfoliate at this time. I just wash my face and I'll put the night cream on. So whilst I'm sleeping, I'm restoring. I'm a side sleeper, so sometimes I'll wake up with like folds on my faces, which can lead to permanent damage. So that's why it's very important to put a night cream on as well. So it helps your skin recharge during the night. It has lavender oil, peony, and it has this vitamin complex of B3, B5, B6, vitamin C, and vitamin E, so a lot of antioxidants. We expose ourselves to a lot of free radical damage in this day and age, whether that be coming from wind or rain or you know hot and cold sun damage. And obviously if you're going to the gym, you're gonna get a lot of bacteria as well. So very important that you have those antioxidants there. And then on a weekly basis, I will put on this triple clay charcoal mask. Now, 
with a triple clay charcoal mask, this helps extract a lot of impurities from beneath the skin. So that's why you want to leave the mask on. I usually leave it on for about 15, 20 minutes. And, uh, and it's got this uh, Kaolin clay, and it's got the activated charcoal in it. And when you have this on, you can really, and it dries out, you can really feel your skin starting to tighten a lot, a lot. And then when you wash it off, it feels so refreshed, so clean, and a lot tighter. And then I will put on, if, it's, if I'm doing that uh, charcoal mask in the morning, which I usually do, I'll put the day cream on and the eye cream on straight after that, and I tell you what, it just sucks it up like a sponge. Because now, your skin is open to being ex extremely hydrated because you've got rid of all the impurities that have come to the surface and it just sucks it up like a sponge. And I tell you what, that once a week is when my skin feels its absolute best. I will put the charcoal mask on absolutely everywhere that shows skin. I'll also put it on my neck as well. So, I've got some bonus tips here. Now, it doesn't matter about all of these skincare products if you're not living a life that replicates health okay from internal now number one you want to try to stay away from having too much skin uh, sorry sun exposure it's one thing that i will suggest make sure that you hydrate drink a lot of water i drink about a gallon of water a day to ensure that not only am i hydrated on the inside but on the outside as well try to stay away from heavy metal contaminants you know so when you're drinking fluid you know, we have a reverse osmosis and remineralizing system in our house. So try to stay away from anything that could potentially have heavy metal contaminants. That's why your supplements should be tested for heavy metal contaminants. And when it comes to your food, try to go for organic, wild caught, humane raised, grass fed. Try to stay away from those antibiotics. You don't want those antibiotics to create any type of gut dysbiosis because your immune system and your hormone regulation, a lot of it is created from inside the gut. So obviously if you have a little bit of gut dysbiosis or ho hormone uh, dysregulation, that can lead to uh, you know, dodgy skin, you know. And uh, further from that, sleep is a big component. A lot of people don't get enough sleep these days. You know, we live very high flying lives, a lot of commitments, a lot of meetings. We're working extended hours. We're doing shift work. You want to try to get as much quality sleep as possible. Stay away from too much artificial light explo exposure. Try to get red light exposure. So the red frequencies that you get from the sun early in the morning or in the evening, or if you cannot get that exposure, use red light therapy. Red light therapy can help with your elastin and your collagen production as well. So those are the bonus tips that I'd say that you want to kind of have those foundations in place when you're applying this skincare routine. Now this skincare routine, I would suggest when you do this, take a before picture. Take that before picture and then six months later, even though you're going to be six months older, you're going to look a lot younger. But don't just take my word for it. Like I said, take that before picture. You can do progress pictures every month if you like. But six months later, you're going to see a big difference. So hopefully this has helped you out. If you do have any questions in regards to this skincare routine or how you can reverse your age from that outside appearance, I'm 47, 48 years old this year. And of course, I want to look as young, but feel as young as possible as I get a little bit older. Thank you very much. We are out.